a highly productive vegetable garden is our aim because it gives us loads of produce for the kitchen. But there's an added bonus to growing your own crops because there's loads of waste material. Now, it's not waste material. All the debris that you don't take into the kitchen can be composted. The reason why we compost is that compost is the ultimate recycling process. We take the waste material from the garden, we put it into a compost heap, it rots down, it becomes black gold, the compost that's full of microorganisms and earthworms that goes back into the garden again and feeds those crops. So we start up a cycle of growth, productivity, recycling that generates new growth and it goes round and around. And if you get it right, you hardly have to take anything out of here. So this is a really good composting setup. It's actually in the garden, so that means it's really easy to access. It's easy to put the waste material into the compost heap. It's away from the house, so any vermin that are attracted won't be a problem. Now, a compost heap, if it's working well, it shouldn't smell. So what we've got here, we've got a three bin system. The centre bin at the moment is the one that's being filled. So this is where all the um, fresh material is going on. This is the start of the composting process. Over here, this one has been filled and it's starting to rot down. You can see it's starting to drop down inside the bin. So this is about halfway through. And over here, this is what we're all after. This is well rotted. It's full of worms, full of microorganisms, full of nutrients to feed the garden. So this is the end result, but you know what? It doesn't have to be as big a setup as this. There are plenty of alternatives for smaller gardeners. This is another homemade composting setup. Started out as two bins and another one's been added. Now that's an interesting fact. Anyone who starts composting for their garden probably will want to make more than they did when they started out. But you know what? Your system doesn't have to be this big. These have been made quite large. You can make your own compost bins quite small. You can buy slatted wooden kits from garden centres. You can also buy those black plastic recycled kind of Daleks and you can have as many of them as you want. Alternatively, you can just pile your compost on the ground, cover it with some damp sacking or a tarpaulin. But whatever you're going to do, put your compost material onto bare earth because then the microorganisms and the worms will come up out of the bare earth into the compost and get the process going really quickly. Now there's been a lot said and written about composting. The thing to remember is that it's a natural process. Decomposition is happening all around us all the time. All we're doing when we compost garden material is we're speeding the process, we're making it work for us. So the most important thing to do is to relax.